Hello everyone, this is Center Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series uh, 90s series Spider-Man figure here. Uh, so let's go over the packaging. So first we get that retro card look, we get the 90s series logo here, with Spider-Man on top, Marvel, uh, Marvel Comics logo here, billboard of Spider-Man here, we get that little display of Spider-Man and all the pieces that he comes with. Uh, and then here is the back, it shows you how the accessories work, you, you can flip hands, you got the two web pieces, you got that billboard picture again, Spider-Man logo here, Marvel logo. And then if you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. And then here is the UPC. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of packaging. So let's go over the accessories first. So first we get this little web splat here. Um, soft plastic. Uh, this is colored white. Uh, it's one of the bigger ones, bigger uh, web splat pieces here. And you get the smaller one here. Yep, still soft plastic. And then we get a pair of wall curling hands, which we did not get with the original retro Spider-Man figure um, in the retro card. So this is nice to have. Cobweb, I mean the webbing on the hands look very clean. Don't see any issues with it. Besides, maybe, I don't know why they didn't add the webbing on the knuckle parts. It's kind of a little weird, but it's okay. Uh, and then we got a pair of thwipping hands. Same deal with the knuckle situation, but not bad. And that's all we got for accessories. And then here is Spider-Man up close. So here is the head sculpt. Um, so yeah, we got that retro eyes here, like the 90 series eyes here. Looks nice. You get, they're a little bit wider and a little bit more. I don't know how to explain it, but you can tell that it's like the 90 series one. Uh, the webbing look it looks clean on the uh, head sculpt. Looks really nice. Uh, you can see a little bit of scuffing there on the shoulder or trap piece there. And it looks like there's a little bit of cracking in the middle spider there. That kind of bothers me a little bit. Don't know what the hell that is, to be honest. <laughs> it's a little weird. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. No, that's not cracking. That's, um, that's cell shading, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. That's cell shading. Uh, because they're going with the cartoon look to it. Um, so, yeah, that, they did that for, like, the muscles in the back. Um, and you get the arms, pinless elbows, and knees, by the way. Here is the chest piece. You get some cell shading around the, um, the chest area. And then um, this area here, same deal on the other side. Arms, you get some cell shading in the inside part. Same deal in the forearms. You get uh, some cell shading in the inside. You get fisted hands as well. And you get the same deal on the other side as well. It gets darker when you're inside. Uh, and then the legs, got some cell shading here. Inner thigh, and then nothing when you flip on the other side, really. And then some cell shading on the reds here. I don't see any issues with the cobweb, or the webbing, I mean. Ow, looks nice. So, yeah, and then the inner part here that looks really good. Um, and then, yeah, that's all we got for looks. So let's go over to articulation. So it's, he has a disc ball joint in the head. goes down that much, up that much, left and right, left and right motion. Uh, not much head pivoting. Uh, if the camera's not really focusing that much. Shoulders move up that far. 360 rotation. Got butterfly joints that go forward, backwards that much, forward that much. Uh, bicep swivels, double jointed elbows, and like I said, pinless wrists hinge down. If my camera will focus, hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. Uh, he has a diaphragm joint that allows them to go forward just none backwards a little bit side to side motion you get some pivoting in there he does have a app crunch or a hip crunch at the, um as hip so he could technically go forward that far backwards that far uh drop down hips none legs kick out that far forward that far backwards a bit thigh cut double jointed knees 
Uh, he does have uh, th uh, shin cut, ankles hinged down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that is the retro Spider-Man figure for you. I think this is a really cool looking figure. I do recommend getting it. Uh, the only problem that I have with it is maybe scuffing and then I would say maybe a little bit more uh, articulation for the diaphragm joint. Um, because I will say that the original uh, retro Spider-Man figure from I think 2018 or something like that. Uh, like the when the first retro card figures uh, to come out. Um, it has more articulation in the abdominal ab abdominal area. Uh, he could go forward more. He could go side to side more. So hopefully they could get that fixed with this sculpt. I like the sculpt more, but I do like the articulation more on the other figure. Uh, I like the colors on this figure, and I like how it looks more 90 series like than the other one did. Um, and it came with wall curling hands, so you can't complain about that. Came with the random accessories, can't complain. Um, I, I will say that it would be nice to have a Peter Parker, like, unmasked head sculpt from the 90 series. But I feel like they'll probably wait for, like, that version of that figure to come out. Like, just Peter Parker itself, the civilian suit. Or civilian, you know, figure uh, to come out. I think that'd be a good one, to be honest. That's a good one to wait on, actually, for the head sculpt. So, they're playing it smart. Um, but, yeah. That's all I really got with this figure. It's a really cool-looking figure. I love it. Um, definitely going to be playing with it quite a bit, actually. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's all I got. If you guys want a more fast-paced review on this guy, go ahead and check out my uh, TikTok in the link tree in the description. But, besides that, thanks for watching.